does transformation healing mean to you? What is the challenge have you overcome that become who you are today? Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our Transformation Healing Podcast. This is 2023. It's our first uh, season two podcast. Today, I have a very special guest. Before I invite she to come here to talk about her story, I will introduce a little bit about her. So that's in the, in the years, she can go through many, many challenges. Here is what she said. I have, I have autism and the mild depression, also anxiety from my childhood. It was a childhood owned and the emotional baggage unmanaged. I was developed with the slow suicide, depression, and the immense. Go through all of this childhood trauma, the owns. Now she transformed, become a CEO of the Canada Region Power and the International Author. Also, she's certified with holistic nutritionist, specialist in uh, hypnosis and the grateful recovery. Welcome, Josali. Josali, welcome to our podcast. Thank you, Ria. Thank you very much for your invitation. I really enjoy talk with you um, about uh, uh, your uh, achievement on your uh, holistic uh, uh, transformation. And it's uh, really good to communicate with each other and uh, um, to share our experience. I believe a lot of people need to um, know the, exactly the true story of our of us, right? Yeah. Yes, absolutely, Rosalie. You know, so we've been through so many different things in the life and mm -hmm. many times we even don't know that is the trauma stay inside us. Yes. And uh, I remember the stories of one of my clients, he's 60, then he's always have this depression, then anxiety in the evening. Then he didn't know, couldn't figure out why, why he have this anxiety in the towards the evening. Then go through the healing, we find out Oh, he when he was a little boy, he was in the school. He's always the last one be picked up by his parents. Mm -hmm. So every evening that he feel this depression, then uh, be abandoned, then the loneliness in the evening time. That's mm -hmm. how he developed in the evening with this depression. So, yes. but uh, when he was a little boy, how he know? Many of us go through the life like this, go through that the childhood the trauma. Um, they even don't know what is trauma. So you, mm -hmm. uh, Rosalie, go through so many things in your life. But look at you now, today, yes. so so uh, so proud. You come here. Yeah. You are the specialist with transform your life. That now help the people to go through what the challenge you have to be through. So before mm -hmm. we start jumping in with our topic, with, with your inspiring stories, I would like to ask you where you are at at this moment. Uh, right now, I'm in my home in Vancouver. And I um, actually, I had uh, about three years um, business trip uh, back and forth uh, between China and Edmonton. Uh, mm -hmm. very cold place in uh, Canada. But after a few years, I uh, immigrated uh, and uh, landing in uh, Vancouver with my own small family mm -hmm. uh, in 2014. Yes. It must be very cold in Vancouver, is it? Uh, Vancouver must be the warmest place in Canada. <laughs> uh, it's not like uh, Canada, most of the place, the, I mean the uh, climate. Uh, however, it's in winter. That's what I, I just talked with you when you are setting up the uh, video. Uh, in winter, it's a kind of um, terrible because a lot of rains here. Mm -hmm. So it made um, 
uh, local people, especially a lot of uh, immigrants, when we face the um, uh, transformation, the transition or transition in our life, a lot of people um, can't bear um, the gloomy mm. winter here. Mm. So um, we suffer the depression, anxiety, a lot of mental conditions. We even don't know that. Yeah, mm. yeah we talk about, you know, uh, but now we have so many uh, information, the Holy Spirit, meditation, sun healing, all of these yeah. hypnosis, many this information, many these tools outside the world to help us to go through with the depression, go through with the challenging. I was really curiosity about, I know we talk about a little bit more uh, when we are on another time, the meeting, but today in this podcast, I would like you uh, share a little bit of your stories. How do you come out from that depression that now become the coach and to help the people? Is that is a tough journey? It take a long time or is that will be if the people use the right tool, it's easier for them to manage that. Yes, um, it's my pleasure. But uh, Ria, uh, I think, uh, can I have about uh, uh, three minutes to introduce a little bit about the, uh, my long-term uh, depression and anxiety, how it came from? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, actually, uh, we, we all came from China. In China, in our generation, uh, we, and also we are at the same age, right? And in our generation, our parents, mm, I think they are uh, they were quite busy on their work, and they um, kind of um, don't have much time to um, care about uh, or um, for the family, uh, especially. Um, maybe because of the uh, special legacy of um, you know the social turbulence in their prime years so um in my family um they often con had a conflict and a fight um not quite violently but i experienced uh, uh, very much about the non-violence um family conflicts from early years so uh, I believe one day when I was around eight, I got a trauma because my mom cried loudly and told me they were going to divorce, to get a divorce and asked me to select uh, whom I would like to live with. Wow, so, I can imagine yeah. that time as a trial, you know, that the pressure will yes. be affect, I think, triggered a lot of that. Very long, yeah. Yes, and, uh, I think that is not just the China. I think probably this happened all over the world. When yes. trial was young, then parents go through divorce, then they will be asked the, the trial to choose. So yes. who you want to leave? So mm -hmm. trial will be get a the panic that's oh my gosh i want to live with both parents yes now i have to choose one so yes. that's uh, so please keep going you still yes and uh and i was uh, um like you said i was astonished and uh, i find my own way because um i and then i go to uh i went to my father and asked him for me don't get don't uh, get a divorce with my mom and then ask him to write me a, a, a letter of assurance to promise me he won't divorce with my mom in 20 years. Um, I, um, why I need to tell this uh, long story in my memory, it, it was because um, just like at the beginning, you explained many things happen in our life. It's buried in our memory. We thought we forgot all of them and we thought um, it passed, just uh, incidents in our uh, maybe old years. However, um, I think I hide this letter of assurance um, in a, top, a pile of books, and I believe it's passed already. However, um, when, I, when my father uh, got cancer and then passed away suddenly, Almost after six, five to six months after the diagnosis, he passed away. 
and then I uh, experienced the uh, um, the worst time when I accompany him in the hospital for the last few maybe uh, one to two weeks. It was a really a torture. And when I um, plug the things uh, um, after his pass away, I found his uh, diary. And he uh, there are a lot of uh, sadness he never expressed in his life to anybody, even to me. And he said, uh, uh, actually, he was very sad and uh, felt uh, uh, hopeless to getting along with my mom for so long. So after that, I thought it was um, my fault to keep them as a mm. family for so long. Wow, then now I can, I can get a little bit of chill up, you know, when you said that it's your fault, that's guilty, that's yes. emotional, that's stored in your body, in your body, in your, in your consciousness, that probably affects a lot of stress also. Yes, I, I think I got traumatized again, mm -hmm. because and it's a, a kind of a kind of a deep grief, because I can't communicate or reverse the time. And also, I, I even couldn't communicate with my father anymore, right? So um, I got a deep trauma after my past, uh, my father passed away. And uh, I didn't notice that uh, from my early years. I already got kind of insecurity deeply rooted in my family, uh, in my heart uh, because of the conflict. Um, always happened in my parental family. So uh, I, first of all, I want to um, express it's very important to acknowledge our mental status. Um, so there are some tools like uh, yeah, maybe- Before uh, you go into yes. the tool, uh, Zosali, I want to um, tell our audience, if you are listening this podcast or watching this live with us, you know, so many of you probably resonate with Rosalie's story. How many times we traumatize? It's not just one time. You know, you go through with your childhood, grow up with the parents. They even they are unknown. How do they traumatize the kids? Because how they grew up with their parents is like that. Then after you grew up with the environment like that, then you go through your own life, then you make the same mistake like your parents made it. Then because you you carried that own, carried that traumatized over, over again, because you haven't found the tool, doesn't aware that was the traumatized. Mm -hmm. So now we're excited to listen Zosalie to tell us what is the tool? How do we know we are traumatized? Like we said, the story goes through, you know, like my clients, after age 60, that 60, then he started looking for, looking for the healing, looking for why, then he finds the healing. So many times we are in that traumatized, in the depression, even suicide thoughts, we couldn't think about the, the help. They just keep pushing down, say, it's okay, I will be okay. But it's really not okay until something happens. Yes. And um, um, after my father passed away and I read uh, his diary, um, mm. the, all the uh, sadness feelings buried in his uh, heart. Mm -hmm. And then um, I got uh, uh, even more severe the, um, depression. Yes. and uh, went to a uh, uh, slow suicide mm -hmm. and uh, because i want really want to communicate with him and then i always uh, easily triggered into um, uh, a crying and mm -hmm. uh, maybe weep uh, easily and then um i got uh, um, my chronic uh, insomnia i always have some some kind of uh, uh, sleeping problem but my long-term insomnia developed into sleep deprivation first time at the end of 2013. Yes, 2013 in around the December. Mm -hmm. uh, so the first time my sleep deprivation uh, last, lasted uh, seven days and night. I didn't sleep for one minute. So um, at that time I felt uh, really tortured because I, I was really tired, exhausted. 
Uh, however, by experiencing such a sleep deprivation, I one thing is good. I'm sure um, we won't die from um, sleepless. We won't die from insomnia or sleep deprivation. Uh, only very weakness in our body. A little small trigger. Uh, I think um, it can make some kind of um, a vessel blood, uh, blood vessel, a uh, blow in my maybe in my brain or mm -hmm. in my um, like body. So I can mm -hmm. feel that a uh, hurt, mm -hmm. like a nervous hurt, and um, there are something blow in my uh, brain, something like that. Uh, but I I heard of your story. I never. Uh, experience a kind of a blackout, mm -hmm. uh, but almost a, on the edge of that. Mm -hmm. um, however, it's a desperate. At that time, I was still in China, so I couldn't find anywhere to uh, resolve my problem. Um, one thing is uh, because of my long-term uh, sleep um, problem, I I used to take um, sleeping pill for a long period. So at that time, sleeping pills, even the strongest sleeping pill can't help me. And even actually at that time, when I got traumatized, um, my nerve system has already um, kind of damaged from the long-term taking the sleeping pills. So uh, uh, my nerve systems uh, um, got more sensitive uh, to the emotional triggers or um, some like a, um, yes, emotional triggers. So it's a bad thing to um, ignore or just um, treat the simple thing of uh, depression or anxiety uh, with the sleeping pills. And yeah. uh, so that exactly. is- So maybe you can share feel the 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 tips how we can go through with that then somebody like we said I asked the question when people have traumatized it, they didn't recognize it they traumatized it but how do they start recognize it because you have to recognize be aware then you can start healing then like looking for the healing we said you aware then you're seeking then you take actions Mm -hmm. so yes, we have. I would like you use this time to share some tools for the for the people. Uh, how do you yes. go through with your challenging mm -hmm. to start with? Um, I I understand that, but um, you know, um, the first thing I uh, I of course acknowledge uh, I have uh, some problem mm -hmm. in my body and mind, but mm -hmm. uh, I have nowhere to go to seek uh, like a holistic transformation or recovery like uh, mm -hmm. us right now is doing. Um, so I went to the hospital. I thought at that time, it was a mis very um, commonly existing misunderstanding. Um, when we got any um, discomfort, um, we went to hospital um, to seek uh, uh, help. However, at the hospital, uh, I was uh, prescribed with a stronger nerve pills and it uh, dragged me into a black hole, even worse. So first mm -hmm. thing is uh, when we got um, kind of traumatized, um, we may feel grief deeply. We At that time, uh, I want to share the feeling. At that time, I think it was... Uh, um, understandable because I lost my father um, suddenly, right? It, everybody can uh, feel the same feeling of a deep grief at that time. However, if this grief lasts longer than say three months or six months, it would be a kind of, a, I don't want to say it must be a mental problem, but mm -hmm. at least we have some condition uh, beyond our body. So um, maybe it's a kind of uh, um, emotional blockage. That means uh, the first thing is if we feel gloomy or blue um, or easily to um, weep um, or cried out, um, even we got some uh, adversity in life, 
longer than three to six months, we must seek some help holistically. Um, not until it developed into um, like a emotional emergency. Actually, like the blackout um, you shared with me previously, and the sleep deprivation, like I experienced, is a kind of a, a mental emergency, mental yes. conditions emergency. At that time, I don't know um, what is your uh, first strategy to um, come back to a kind of normal status. But for me, um, I if I went to a, a, a such a long sleep deprivation, it first step we could we couldn't seek any uh, like a holistic uh, transformation or holistic recover recovery at first. Um, so maybe kind of a strong psychiatric medicine can only work at that stage. But that w- was uh, what we. Uh, really don't want to see, right? Uh, it yes. will deep, deeply hurt and uh, further damage our nervous system and also buried emotional trauma or psychological trauma. It's a bad thing. It's a worse thing, um, far from recovery. Yeah. Absolutely. I think, uh, you know, when I was having the panic attack, like I said, I called 911 when I was in the uh, in the road going to the hospital, then I feel that was 15 minutes road, feel like forever. Then mm-hmm. I remember the guy was asking me, said, how are you? Just that simple word, he asked me, how are you? I suddenly have the words, voice inside my head, the yelling of me said, Ria, wake up. Think about if you die now, is that what you want to and your life to be end is mm-hmm. that the meaning of your life mm-hmm. so in that moment i know i need a change you know just mm-hmm. suddenly you have the voice behind you yes and say wake up you need to change in this life right mm-hmm. so when something yeah. happens I, I don't know that voice where's that voice come from Yes. The voices yeah. come from deeply your consciousness or from, from some universe. So we don't know where it's from. But that voice was wake up me. So after mm-hmm. that, I started seeking. Just like before we said, you have to be awake, uh, awareness that what's happening, you need to change. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, you just keep in your um, depression, keep in your anxiety, all of this stuff together, all of that. You're not seeking, you will be not healed. Mm-hmm. When you start seeking, like you ask me, how do I heal myself? When I start he- uh, seeking, I find this mm-hmm. self-healing, I find this holistic healing. All of that goes through that journey that slowly, step by step, start to move out my traumas, mm-hmm. move out my anxiety, heal my you know, the, all of that emotions, like you said, the guilty, the sadness, mm-hmm. so that regret stored in the body. Mm-hmm. So here is uh, Rosalie, can you tell us a little bit, uh, number three, maybe three tools, how people can use that to, to heal, to, to, to start awake uh, there's the, when they go through this challenge, like we have been going through. Mm-hmm. Um, actually, um, I found my way of holistic healing um, after a long journey. So the first I just uh, um, um, shared with you, um, I went to the hospital, but I got the psychiatric medicine. Yes. It, it made, made me even worse because um, I after I, I came back to a kind of normal status, I can sleep when I can sleep. Mm-hmm. I felt uh, the psychiatric, the side effects of psychiatric medicine. Mm-hmm. I have to withdraw the head, uh, psychiatric medicine. Um, it brought me a new problem in my life. So I first uh, tried to exercise when I um, acknowledged that I have to get a change. I have to find a transformation on my health and my life. Uh, I used to uh, exercise in the gym and 
around four to five days a week,、mm-hmm. and about five hours a day. But at that time, I really got. I felt I really got better, a little bit better. But I still uh kind of um, uh the sleep is a kind of uh very light and、uh, tired when I wake up in the morning, and my skin is、uh, still like a dark and yellow and uh, uh lack of the um、uh, the touch some some kind of that, and then um, but that really helped me to withdraw the psychiatric medicine,、mm-hmm. and. However,、uh, after that, I still felt there are something、um, is not n- not quite right in my life because I still can't sleep very well,、uh, and I、um, sometimes have still consult to the、uh, sleeping pills. So it's a, a an accident that I. Got into contact with、uh, some kind of、uh, high quality nutrition, and then I found is a、uh, immediately is a、uh, the um okay ah、uh, I only find the um the difference、uh, um from the other nutrition, and then I learned my um holistic um certified holistic nutritionist to find out what's the difference between them. And after that,、um, I also felt, I also remembered, when I was young,、um, there is a kind of a deep meditation.、Uh, I exercised、um, like a play when I was young, but because I、uh, really loved the、um, like a traditional、uh, Chinese culture, and that one deep, deeply rooted in my mind. So today I want to share a little bit about this.、Uh, um, I call it a breathe exercise.、Mm. It's a kind of a, um, um, microcosmic circulation of a breath inside our body. It's really helped me after、uh, I got long-term、uh, insomnia and I want to get a, a holistic transformation.、Um, because、uh, in our、um, It's a kind of Asian meditation,、um, but we guide it ourselves. In our mind, we just、uh, like a、uh, breathe in and breathe out, breathe out, and count like a、uh, um, like a、uh, maybe five by five by five by five.、Um, There's a four stage breath, like a、uh, when we breathe in and we count to one to five and hold. To five, and then breathe out slowly and count one to five, and then hold, and then again another、um, breathe circulation. However, the difference is when we practice in traditional Chinese way, we kind of practice a breathe when we、uh, fog, make a fog in our mind. So when we control the slowly breathe in, out, and uh, uh, hold for a few seconds, we also acknowledge there is、um, invisible breath paths inside our body. So、uh, in, in the front of our body, there is a kind of a,、um, conception vessels, and our、um, breath go in. From the middle of our、um, the between the lips and the nose, it's called of a middle of a person. So when we breathe in and out and hold、uh, in five by five by five by five in a square, we also think of the breath come in through our、um, the middle of a person, which is in the middle of a lip and a nose, and then going down slowly. And uh, um, um, come down into the middle of a chest, and it's called a heaven of a projector. And then there is a very important point, um, below, or、uh, about the two inches of our belly. It's called the sea of the breath. Um, there are several points in this invisible internal breath vessels. 
uh, actually it's the old point points of the Chinese acupuncture. So the more points in this path, in the breathing exercise, the more mindfulness we will acquire. Mm. Um, maybe we can take about uh, uh, two minutes and you can uh, try with me like this. Yes, so, um, I would like to try. Yeah, let's yes. try. And also, I know Rosalie, after this, I will be showing up. You have a book called Invisible Power that yes. talk about is that you talk about how do you teach uh, the methods of this yes. breathing exercise. Yes. yes. So yeah. let's uh, uh, do the uh, two minutes. I know we have the different, different, uh, if you like to looking for the Rosalie to uh, learning more about his uh, methods. So we have the uh, information uh, below, and also Rosalie brought some gift later on uh, with his uh, knowledge and teachings will be dropped in our uh, Facebook group. So you can go join our Facebook group, uh, Facebook group called the uh, Zenquency uh, Zenquency Frequency <laughs> Zenquency <laughs> Vibration. I will drop the link below. So mm -hmm. let's get started with. Uh, um, your, yeah, it's a I kind of traditional, minutes. yeah, traditional yes. uh, Chinese okay. uh, meditation. So first of all, um, try to think two kinds of things. One is control your breath in, breath out, and hold your breath in a, a, a full stage cycle and count to one to five. Like this, breathe in, one, two, three, four, five, and hold, and count to five and make it as a circulation. And then another part of your mind will follow this breath going inside your body through the first point is called the middle of a person is between the lips and your nose. The breath come in from this point and going down slowly. And you can feel this breath is like a small shimmering dot and going down slowly inside your body and come into the middle of a screen, which is in your, the middle of your throat. And then going down a little bit into the middle of the chest. When this little shimmering dot of a breath going down slowly in your body, you felt there are a lot of uh, positive energy emitting into your body slowly. And it also absorbs a lot of uh, particles of toxins, sadness, depressed, and negative things. And it will be an exchange in this breath dot. And through the way, along the way, it going down a little bit by a little bit, you come to a very important point. It's about two inches below your belly. It's called the sea of the breath. And here, keep on holding your breath in the full stage cycle. Breathe in and count to one to five and breathe out, count to one to five. And this dot of a breath continue to going through in your body. And you feel a little bit of uh, relaxed while well, it's going up through the back of your vessel and then it come into the first point it's the back of your uh, waist it's called the gate of your life you continuously feeling the exchange of uh, the positive energy of this breath brought in into your body 
and it is change, the toxin, the sadness, the darkness, and the negativity from your body. And it going up to the back of your、uh, chest. It's called the platform of spirit. And then going up. When you feel the breath coming down, coming into a area in your body, you felt chronically pain. Pain. You can let this dot of a breath lingering in this place a little bit more, like a turn around in a circle, and around, and around. When I. Felt stressed and nervous.、Um, probably I will feel a little bit of dull pain on my back. And when I feel this dot of a breath going over at my back, and I let it linger a little bit at my back, it's called a platform of the spirit. I feel the released and soothed, and then I will let it go upper to my back neck, and then the back of my brain, and then another important point on the top of my brain is the crown. And then come down into the middle of my eyeballs, and then come down to the middle of a person again. So this circle will continue one time, and another, and three times. In each time, you exercise your breath, and now. Please come back from、uh, the breath of your、uh, full stage, like breathing in. Come to one, two, three, four, five, and then hold. Come to five, and then breathe out slowly. Come to five again. And then now, please open your eyes slowly, a little bit. Yeah. Thank you, Ria, for your music. It's very beautiful, good. Beautiful.、Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Yes, that is wonderful. I feel yeah, so much、you. peace. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, Zazli. So thank you for your wonderful exercise.、Uh, um. Everyone, if you're listening this, you want to learn more about it. Like I said, Rosalie have the book. I will share this screen with all of you. So here, Rosalie have all of his、mm -hmm. book around here. So if you like to purchase some of the book, or you like to learn more about Rosalie, so later on we will be drop this link in the uh. In the chat, or not in the chat, under this video or on our podcast, you can looking forward to learn more about Zosli. Yes. Thank、um, you, Zosli.、Yeah. Yes. Thank you, thank you, Ria. And、uh, um, I just want to add one more because、uh, the URL you just showed on the screen. Uh, I believe your、uh, email there, and I can um. In the following months, I can、uh, send your hard copy of my newest、uh, book published. Yeah. Yes, that's yeah. beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much for come to here、um, to have this wonderful time with us. So before we go, Rosalie, do you have、uh, any words you want to say with anybody or、uh, any、uh, with our audience?、Um, uh, what is the best way we can? Find you, except that we just showing us、uh, that link. Do you have a email or what is best way we can find you? Um, yes, I I think you can find me on website. Uh, um, like uh, or social media like a paradox dot Rosalind because Rosalind is my preferred English name and paradox is the um my um book collection. 
um, oh. my book published the book collection is called the Paradox. Yes, so Paradox dot Rosalie. You can search that um, Google um, or on the social media platform like Instagram, um, LinkedIn, Facebook. Yeah, thank you very much for Rhea for in inviting me. And it's really good to talk with you um, to exchange the experience of holistic transformation. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Rosalie. Thank you, everybody. So this is our Tuesday Transformation Healing Podcast with me, Rhea. If you uh, like to share your inspiration stories, uh, you have some knowledge, you want to help the people to help this world, impact this world to be better place, you can connect to me, you can contact me, then come to be my guest on my podcast. Thank you, everybody. I will see you next Tuesday. Thank you. Bye.